Well, what we find in the study is that the incidence of thyroid cancer has been increasing worldwide. And in some countries like the United States, that incidence has tripled since 1973. And we think that the, the majority of these incident cases are due to overdiagnosis of thyroid cancer. What is happening is that there is a large pool of subclinical disease. And we, don't know, we, we know that because of autopsy studies that, for instance, if we gather 10 people from the street and we examine the thyroid glands in the microscope of those 10 people that were completely healthy, we will find that two of those 10 will have thyroid cancer. And that actually pool of thyroid cancer has not changed over time. What has changed over time is that uh, ability to examine or to discover that pool or subclinical pool of thyroid cancer. So three decades ago, for instance, the patients came to us complaining of a thyroid lump or difficulty swallowing because the mass was big or visible masses. Now the vast majority of the patients come to us because they, they, they found the thyroid cancer incidentally uh, because of CAT scan of the lungs. And those patients are asymptomatic. Plus, with the fact that we can do biopsies, even in very tiny, tiny nodules at bedside, it's, it's driven the overdiagnosis and overtreatment of thyroid cancer. Well, it's very similar to prostate cancer. In fact, I think in the area of overdiagnosis, pro prostate, breast cancer, and thyroid cancer are the, probably the ones that are overdiagnosed and overtreated. The reason that um, not all thyroid cancers are the same is because there is a subgroup of thyroid cancers, usually small ones, uh, they belong to a, a, a subtype of thyroid cancer, which, which is called papillary type. And those ones are indolent kind of thyroid cancers. And we know because some uh, studies already were conducted that follow the patients that were treated with surgery and were not treated with surgery. And the ones that were not treated with surgery and have these very small thyroid cancers, they did not have a rapid progress of the disease. They did not metastasize and actually they did not die from thyroid cancer. And those findings were equal in both groups. So the, the, what is very concerning is that these patients are, are actually overtreated. All thyroid cancers are treated equally, regardless of the prognosis. So what we're recommending is that for this group of thyroid cancers, the one that is small and indolent, the papillary type, we're recommending to do randomized clinical trials of patients with active surveillance and patients without active surveillance. But until we get to that point, until we, we have to do some changes. And the first one that we're recommending is to change the name of those uh, lesions to something that conveys a better risk. We are uh, suggesting renaming these lesions as micropleak. It stands for micro, which is a small, P for papillary, L for lesion, I for indolent, and C for coarse, micropleak. The second recommendation is that these patients should engage with their clinicians in a shared decision-making fashion to discuss about the uncertainties and benefits of active surveillance versus surgery. If, imagine that you're a patient that uh, came to come to the doctor for a um, cough, and you have a CAT scan, so you are found to have a very tiny nodule in your thyroid, and the biopsy is consistent with thyroid cancer. You do not have any symptoms related to it, but your doctor is telling you we have to remove the thyroid gland because of an incidental finding. Many of those patients, my feeling is that they might be okay just watching these lesions. Uh, so that is why we're also trying to com give or change the name of these lesions to try to remove the cancer from them to convey a better risk. Our idea is that once that you remove the label of cancer, you will reframe the care of these patients.